viewers welcome to may june 2019 wayek also known as wasi past questions and detailed solution general mathematics mathematics core paper 2 part 1 this part contains five questions one to five and you are expected to answer all questions in this part solution to five questions in one video question 1a given that 110 one, base s is equal to 40 base 5 find the value of s what you do here is to simply convert both numbers to base 10 the common base and to do that you multiply each digit by the respective base number and you assign the position of each digit to the base for the first number zero the position is zero one is one and the other one is two four four zero zero is zero then four is one so you have one times s s squared plus one times s s power one plus zero times s power zero equal to four times five power one the position of four is one plus zero times five power zero you have s square plus s this term is zero equal to five power one is five times four is twenty this term is zero so what you have is a quadratic equation so let's move 20 in for us to have zero at the right hand side so you have s squared plus s minus 20 equal to zero to factorize the the coefficient of s square is one that of s is also one and the constant term is minus 20 you look for two factors of 20 that the sum is plus 1 in s and the product is minus 20 such factors must be plus 5 minus 4 you you express the factors in terms of s and replace the middle term with them in this form the purpose is to have four terms so that you factorize by grouping so the first two terms the first group the last two terms the second group ensure that the two groups are separated with a plus sign from the first group s is common you factor out s you have s plus 5 from the second group minus 4 is common you factor it out you have s plus 5 you equate it to zero clearly s plus 5 is common if you take it again you are left with s and minus 4 which form the other group or the other bracket you equate it to zero if you equate each factor to zero you have s plus 5 equal to zero or s minus 4 equal to zero if you transfer the constant respectively you have s equal to minus 5 or 4 the base s cannot be negative so s is equal to 4 question 1b simplify 15 over root 75 plus root 108 plus root 432 leaving the answer in the form of a root b where a and b are positive integers now we have single form there so these three single forms let us express them in basic form in basic form you try to get the factor of the number that is a perfect number 
in 75 you have 25 times 3 in 108 you have 36 times 3 in 432 you have 144 times 3 so you have 15 over 5 root 3 because root 25 is 5 so you have 15 over 5 root 3 plus 6 root 3 plus 12 root 3 now if you divide 15 by 5 you have 3 remaining now in order to simplify this term you rationalize by using root 3 to multiply the numerator and denominator just this first term you are doing that for meanwhile these sorts are alike when you add them you have 18 root 3 so if you simplify here you have 3 root 3 now root 3 times root 3 is 3 so 3 cancel 3 so you have root 3 plus 18 root 3 and that is 19 root 3 now in the form of a root b you can say that a is equal to 19 and b is equal to 3 if you were asked to find the value of a and b question 2a find the equation of the line which passes through the points the first point is a with the coordinate minus 2 7 second point is b with coordinate 2 minus 3 such equation can be formed using the general form now in the first coordinate minus 2 is s1 7 is y1 in the second coordinate 2 is s2 and minus 3 is y sub 2 if you put the values into the formula you have it in this form if you simplify further you have it in this form if you simplify the right hand side you have minus 10 over 4 which reduces to minus 5 over 2 next is to cross multiply and you have 2 times y minus 7 equal to minus 5 times s plus 2 bracket close if you open the brackets you have 2y minus 14 equal to minus 5s minus 10 that is minus 5 times plus 2 minus 10 if you move all the terms to one side you have y 2y if you move minus 5s it becomes plus 5s minus 14 is there already you move minus 10 becomes plus 10 equal to 0 and you have 2y plus 5s minus 4 equal to 0 as the equation of the line question 2b given that 5b minus a over 8b plus 3a is equal to 1 over 5 find correct to two decimal places the value of a over b so this is what you are asked to simplify first let's clear fractions by cross multiplying in this manner so you have this result if you open the bracket in the left hand side you have 25b minus 5a equal to 8b plus 3a collect like terms move all the b's to one side likewise a's so you have 25b minus 8b equal to 3a plus 5a if you add you have 17b equal to 8a 
which also implies 8a equal to 70b for us to have this form you have to divide through by b so if b divides through and at the same time divide through by 8 as b is divided through 8 we divide through also and you have a over b equal to 17 over 8 and that is 2.125 to 2 dp to 2 dp two decimal places supposed to have 2.13 2.13 because we are interested in two now the second number after the point the next number is five you run it up to one and you add it to two it becomes three so you have two Point one three to two decimal places. Question three A Ali Musa and Yusuf shared four hundred and twenty thousand naira in the ratio three to five to eight, respectively. Find the sum of Ali and Yusuf shares. So to get the sum. You need to get at least share and Yusuf share. And from the question, ratio 3 is for Ali, ratio 8 is for Yusuf. So this is the sharing ratio. The sum of ratio is needed, that is 16. For at least share, you have at least ratio, that is 3 over sum of ratio 16 times total amount they are sharing. And Ali share is seventy eight thousand seven hundred and fifty naira. Yusuf share is equal to Yusuf ratio that is eight over sum of ratio sixteen times total amount they are sharing, and that gives two hundred and ten thousand naira. So sum of Ali's and Yusuf share is this and that is 288,750 naira question 3b solve 2 bracket open 1 over 8 bracket close to the power of s equal to 32 to the power of s minus 1 what you have here is exponential equation. Looking at all the bases, 2 is the lowest base. So you express 8 as 2 cubed, 32 as 2 power 5. To have all the bases at the same level, 2 power 3 needs to go up. And when that happens, the power changes from positive to negative so you have it in this form by the law of indices where numbers with the same base are multiplied their powers are added so these two the power is one then times by power law minus three times s you have two to the power of minus three s equal to this if you expand this bracket so if you simplify the left hand side by adding the powers because the same bases are multiplied you have 2 power 1 minus 3s equal to the right hand side if you equate the bases you have the powers to be equal if you collect like terms you have 1 plus 5 equal to 5s plus 3s and that is 6 equal to 8s divide both sides by 8 s is equal to 6 over 8 and it reduces to 3 over 4 Peter Kors simplified maths if you are viewing and watching from YouTube don't forget to subscribe for more updates 
like and share PSM videos. If you are viewing and watching from Facebook, follow and like the page. Also share PSM videos. Question 4. In the diagram, PQROS is a quadrilateral. Angle PQRO is equal to angle PROS and is equal to 90 degrees. PQ is 3 cm, QRO 4 cm, and PS is 13 cm. Find the area of the quadrilateral. Now, the area is the sum of the two triangles. P, Q, R, O plus area of triangle P, R, O, S. The sum of the area of the two triangles. In triangle P, Q, R, O, this is the base, this is the height. But in triangle P, R, O, S, you have this as the hypotenuse, the side facing the right angle. That means you need P arrow as the base and S arrow as the height. So for us to get P arrow, we have to look at triangle P Q arrow. And by Pythagoras rule, you have P arrow squared, the longest side is equal to P Q squared plus Q arrow squared. And that is 3 squared plus 4 squared. And you have 9 plus 16 equal to 25. To get P arrow, take the square root of both sides. And P arrow is equal to square root of 25. And that is 5 centimeters. Now that we know P arrow, let's get S arrow. By looking at triangle P arrow S, that triangle is also a right angle triangle with PS as the longest side. So you have PS squared equal to P arrow squared plus S arrow squared. PS is 13. You have 13 squared equal to 5 squared plus S arrow squared and you have 196. 5 squared is 25. If you transfer it, it becomes minus 25 equal to s arrow squared and you have 144 equal to s arrow squared to get s arrow take the root of both sides so s arrow is equal to square root of 144 and that is 12 centimeter so area of quadrilateral p q arrow s is equal to area of triangle p q arrow plus area of triangle P R O S that is 1 over 2 times base times height plus 1 over 2 times base times height that is 1 over 2 times 3 times 4 for the first triangle plus 1 over 2 times 12 times 5 for the second triangle and you have 6 plus 30 and that is 36 squared centimeters as the area of the quadrilateral. Question 5. Three red balls, five green balls, and a number of blue balls are put together in a sack. One ball is picked at random from the sack. If the probability of picking a red ball is 1 over 6. Find A. The number of blue balls in the sack. B. The probability of picking a green ball. From the question, let arrow denote red balls and they are 3 in numbers. Let G denote green balls and there are five in numbers and B denote blue balls the number is unknown number of blue balls are needed this is only possible if the
the total balls are known and that is why the complete information about red balls is given that is number of red balls and probability of picking a red ball that will enable us find the total of balls in the sack so you must start from red balls probability of red balls is equal to number of red balls over total balls the probability is 1 over 6 number of red balls they are 3 total is unknown if you cross multiply you have 1 times total balls equal to total balls 6 times 3 you have 18 so red balls plus green balls plus blue balls equal to total balls that is 3 plus 5 plus blue balls equal to 18 if you collect like terms you have blue balls equal to 18 plus 18 minus 8 18 minus 8 if you add this to you have 8 you transfer it becomes minus 8 and that is 10 so number of blue balls are 10 they are 10 then b probability that green balls were picked is equal to number of green balls over total balls and that is 5 over 18 that is the probability of picking a green ball to end paper 2 part 1 there is every need for you to be saved to do that you just have to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ because he is the only one that has the power to save anyone and confess him as your Lord and personal Savior if you are saved already congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble study your books do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defraud others to make money use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally and the lord will bless you goodbye and stay tuned